Hey guys, this is Storm the Armatrons from Team Babylon. And today, I will be reading you all Chapter 3 Joe, a third chapter for Sideway Stories from Wayside School. Now, this, now from what I could tell, Bailey Maloney actually read this, read this book when she was a child. And I guess she might have loved it so much, so, which is why she assigned us to read this read the story. Well, I think that's a great idea. So, now, since Eggman read chapter 1 and Vanilla read chapter 2, I thought, well, I might as well read chapter 3. Without wasting any more time, let's get reading. Joe had curly hair. He didn't know how much hair he had. He couldn't count that high. In fact, he couldn't count at all. When all the other children went to recess, Mrs. Jules told Joe to wait inside. Joe, she said, how much hair do you have? Joe shrugged his shoulders. A lot, he answered. But how much, Joe? asked Mrs. Jules. Enough to cover your, enough to cover my head, Joe answered. Joe, you're, you are going to have to learn how to count, said Mrs. Jules. Oh, Mrs. Jules, I already knew how to count, said Joe. Let me go to recess. First, count to ten, said Mrs. Jules. Joe counted to ten. Six, eight, twelve, one, five, two, seven, eleven, three, ten. No, Joe, that is wrong, said Mrs. Jules. No, it isn't, said Joe. I counted until I got to ten. But you were wrong, said Mrs. Jules. I'll prove it to you. She put five pencils on each desk. On his desk, oh, sorry. How many pencils do we have here, Joe? Joe counted the pencils. Four, six, one, nine, five. There are five pencils, Mrs. Jules. That's wrong, said Mrs. Jules. How many pencils are there? Joe asked. Five, said Mrs. Jules. That's what I said, said Joe. May I go to recess now? Nope, said Mrs. Jules. You got them right, sir, but you counted the wrong way. You were just lucky. She said, eight potatoes on his desk. How many potatoes, Joe? Joe counted the potatoes. Seven, five, three, one, two, four, six, eight. There are eight potatoes, Mrs. Jules. No, there are eight, said Mrs. Jules. But that's what I said, said Joe. May I go to recess now? No, you got the right answer, but you counted the wrong way again. She put three books on his desk. Count the books, Joe. Joe counted the books. A thousand, a million, three. Three, Mrs. Jules. Correct, said Mrs. Jules. Are you going to recess now? Joe asked. No, said Mrs. Jules. May I have a potato? asked Joe. No, listen to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, said Mrs. Jules. Now you say it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, said Joe. Very good, said Mrs. Jules. She put six erasers on his desk. Now count the erasers, Joe. Just the way I showed you. Joe counted the erasers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are ten, there are ten, Mrs. Jules. No, said Mrs. Jules. Didn't I count right? asked Joe. Yes, you count right, but you got the wrong answer, said Mrs. Jules. This doesn't make any sense, said Joe. When I count in the wrong way, I get the right answer. And when I count in right, I get the wrong answer. Mrs. Jules hit her head against the wall five times. How many times did I hit my head against the wall? She asked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You hit your head against the wall ten times, said Joe. No, said Mrs. Jules. Four, six, one, nine, five. You hit your head five times, said Joe. Mrs. Jules shook her head and said no and said, yes, that is right. The bell rang and all the other children came back from recess. The fresh air had made them very excited and they were laughing and shouting. Oh, darn, said Joe. No, I missed recess. Hey, Joe, where were you? asked John. You missed a great game of kickball. I kicked a home run, said Joe. What was wrong with you, Joe? asked Joey. Nothing, said Joe. Mrs. Schultz was just trying to teach me how to count. 
Joy laughed. You mean you don't know how to count? Counting is easy, said Marissa. No, no, said Mrs. Jules. What's easy for you may not be easy for Joe. What's easy for Joe may not be easy for you. Nothing is easy for Joe, said Marissa. He's stupid. I can pin you up, said Joe. Try it, said Marissa. That'll be enough of that, said Mrs. Jules. She wrote Marissa's name on the blackboard under the word discipline. Joe put his hand on his desk between eight potatoes and six erasers. Don't feel bad, Joe, said Mrs. Jules. I just don't get it. I'll never learn how to count, said Joe. Sure you will, Joe, said Mrs. Jules. One day it will come to you. You'll wake up one morning and suddenly be able to count, Joe asked. If all I have to do is wake up, what am I going to school for? School just speed, speeds things up, said Mrs. Jules. Without school, it might take Another 70 years before you wake up and are able to count. By that time, I may have no hair left on top of my head to count, said Joe. Exactly, said Mrs. Jules. That is why you're going to school. Excuse me. When Joe woke up the next day, he knew how to count. He had 55,006 hairs on his head. They were all curly. And that was Joe. Chapter 3, Joe, from Sideways Stories from Whiteside School. What do I think of it? If I'm going to be honest, this chapter is actually really nice. It's, it's actually, it's actually really funny now that I think about it. I can actually sort of relate to Joe because, well, I may be tough. I'm not the, I'm not all that bright. I'm not ashamed to admit that, to be honest. Well, regardless, it's nice to see, now, it's personally nice to see Mrs. Jules actually teaching Joe how to count. And the fact that Joe got the right answer, although counting the wrong way, is pretty, that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, I could go on and on and on and how much I love this chapter. But what do you want to think? But I have to get going, because <laughs> we're about to have another, Team Babylon is about to have another assignment. I think it involves with finding more treasure. But what do you all think of this, what do you all think of this chapter? Did you like it or did you not? Feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. Oh, and don't forget to tell us whether you like this story so far or not in the comment section down below. Thank you all very much for watching. This is Storm the Albatross, signing off. See ya!